Whenever you guys are ready. Uh, well, um, you know, after that little, I would say little hiccup in the middle of the season, for whatever reason, Bywater's back to being Bywater. I mean, just been yeah. great for you. I yeah, mean, it was, I mean, it was, it was two starts. The, the one that we didn't help, we, you know, made a bunch of errors behind him. And then the next one, he just wasn't right. And, um, but he and Vance worked hard at it and made a couple adjustments and, you know, back to being the Bywater that dominated this whole league last year and, and has for almost the, all, this whole year. So, I mean, right now, I mean, he's pitcher deer as far as I'm concerned. They couldn't do much against him. It's just he walks the first guy that went in right. and really uncharacteristic, the two wild pitches. Right. But other than that, I mean, he was darn near perfect out there. Yeah, he really was. You know, he spiked the, the one slider. Um, yeah, and it's tough. I mean, Toby's caught, you know, we had Eric Strano was down, so we didn't have a backup catcher. And so Street was our emergency catcher in the event we needed one. So. Toby's had to catch every day for the last about 10 days now because with Eric having the flu. Um, so, you know, you got to say, God, his legs are pretty tough. It's really tough to block those kind of pitches back there. And then he just left the, the one change up, you know, a little bit short. But uh, other than that, I mean, damn near perfect. You know, Steve Marino has been such a solid player for you. And he's only hitting about 257, and I can't find a stat for this anywhere. But he always seems to have big hits in key situations. I, mean, I can remember, it seems like him more than any other player as far as I remember. Well, I'll tell you what, certainly second half of both last year and this year. I mean, you look at Stevie's numbers in, in August last year, and especially that last two weeks when we were pushing to, to try to, uh, to win a division, and he just got red hot. And it was the right time, and you know, if you look at his numbers in the month of July, he's hitting over 300 in the month of July, and you know, so that's important to me. Hit when it hit when it matters, and right now it matters. Uh, you know, Vasquez. You know, if he didn't hit that home run there, you you, you don't know. I mean, no, you weren't able to do much. Short did a nice job for yeah. them, but well, he really got a hold. That was huge for you. Yeah, he, yeah you know, short. You got to tip your cap to him. He did a great job today. It changed speeds really well, and in the then our guys made a couple adjustments late, and Nico got the one pitch. I'm not sure it was a strike, but you know, borderline, and then he got the same pitch again, and he didn't let that one go and, and hit that ball a long way. Uh, so you've got Evansville coming in. Every game's important, but you know, this this head-to-head -head with the team you're chasing, yeah. you can't afford to come in here and lose this series. Just your no. thoughts on them yeah. with their two aces coming in right yeah. now, too. Um, you know, I always look at, honestly, every guy I put out there, I think, has a chance to win every night. And um, yeah, you know what? They've got their good guys, and we've got good guys. So I have every faith in the world, and our guys, have, you know, will find a way to do that. Um, big series. I don't want. You know what? There's still so much more time right. to go. I don't want to put over importance, but it's important we play well. We uh, we took them in the last series. So if you take this series, that puts a boatload of pressure on them. Um, in order to even even it up, they've got to take two out of three next weekend at their place just to even it up. Otherwise, we end up um, in a situation where you know we can take you know the advantage over if we get the head-to-head. -head. Mm -hmm. You know that's always the thing you're worried about. In 2009, we did not make the playoffs solely because of head-to-head -head competition, and so I don't ever want to put us in that position. Good. Okay. Good. Welcome to People's National Bank, Big John. Now, Big John, we know you've been a People's National Bank customer for years, but I bet you didn't know about the newest addition to the People's National Bank accounts. It's called Cha-Ching Checking. It's a free checking account with rewards. You can earn rewards or interest. And there are no monthly service fees and no minimum balance to earn rewards. Would you like to sign up? You would? And I see you've brought your friends to sign up, too. Bring your friends to sign up for a Cha-Ching checking account. Free checking with rewards at People's National Bank and see what family-owned banking is all about.